The ancient city of Kano was famous for being the center of commerce due to the role it played during the Trans-Saharan trade. It was also famous for its city wall, which was first constructed in the 11th century by its third king, Gijimasu, to fortify the city against invasion. The wall was expanded from the east by Muhammad Rumfa in the 15th century. The present radius of 18 miles was the last expansion ordered by King Muhammad Nazaki in the 17th century. The city wall stands 30 feet high and has a width of 15 feet with deep ditches from both sides to prevent aggressors from having access except through the 12 city gates. The conquest of Kano by Canolian masters and the end of inter-tribal and inter-kingdom wars means the city wall relevance is now only for historic purpose. The city wall, along with other historical monuments, became tourist attraction, which necessitated the National Commission for Museum and Monuments to designate them as national heritage sites. UNESCO has made several visits preparatory to making the Kano city wall a world heritage site. The dilapidation and poor preservation how, however, hindered the prospect. The condition of the city wall presently is witnessing uh, some encroachment and dilapidation due to both natural and human factors. The, the natural factors like uh, erosion, wind and rain do affect some parts of the wall, while the human factors uh, like encroachment we are some places are uh, used for building houses. We are some places also are, be, are used for uh, dumping of refuse. The German government in 2010 sponsored the preservation of the wall from Dan Abundi Gate. The federal and state governments have also made several attempts to conserve the national heritage. But then, a custodian of one of the gates and wall, Bell Lometama, says traditional rulers should be involved. Uh, this is our heritage, isn't it? So I, we have to uh, take care of it by preventing people from destroying it. At the moment, only about 10% of the 18-mile city wall is in existence, and the principal guide of the site, Dominic Yurima, says... Without proper preservation and conservation of the remaining part of the wall, from 20 to 30 years to come, it will be, they will all disappear because you can see the level of encroachment. Houses are even built on top of the wall or even close to the wall, which is not supposed to be. And rainfall and the other uh, natural factors do affect part of the wall. So if nothing is done presently, next time or in the future time, there will be no, nothing to showcase as wall heritage site. That is what both the community and governments should strive to prevent so that this great work of more than 900 years does not go into extinction. In Kano, Fatima Sanusik Arai, NTA News.